the middle of De from the middle of December till January, we have western grebes on Cooper Lake. They're lovely, elegant birds, long neck, black and white, and they they move in such elegant ways. They're elegant and silly at the same time. Just some beautiful things to watch. They start showing up in small numbers, and we see them along the shore. Um, and then they congregate in larger groups, maybe 25 or 30, and out in the middle of the lake somewhere. And they usually they're so far off, all you can see, do is, is view them from a distance. And uh, But this year, there's a group that has been, for the last couple weeks, just on the Nelson waterfront. Um, six of them the, at the beginning, there's nine of them now. And I've been able to go down and, and uh, take shots and videos and uh, truly enjoyed it. It's just been a pleasure to watch them, a pleasure to see them so close. And you'll notice a few things. They're unusual little movements, they'll splashy. Sometimes they'll sort of splash on, and walk on the water. They'll dip their heads with, in their beak and they'll dive and get vegetation. A few little movements, they'll stick their neck way out really oddly. All those things are part of, they have a very elaborate mating ritual. And of course, it's the wrong time of year. They mate, they nest in May. They build floating nests actually on the edges of lakes where there's lots of vegetation, lots of fish. And uh, not this lake, but lake, some lakes in, in British Columbia and in the Northwestern United States. So you'll see an individual do these mating movements and of course, there's no response. It's the wrong time of year. It's too cold. Like, why would you be doing that? But it's great fun. We can really enjoy them.
For some technical details of this, of this stuff, I've got, uh, I shoot with a Pentax K1. That's where I shoot the video and stills. Um, and then uh, I use the Sigma 500 millimeter f4.5 lens. Um, most of the, the stills are wide open f4.5, typically 1 800, 1 1200 of a second. The light was quite low. Um, and then this, the video is in the same camera body, same lens, with uh, typically f5.6 or f8 to get a little bit more depth of field. So again, subscribe to the videos. I'll be posting um, some of my videos and uh, just different uh, expeditions that I take or that I have taken. And just a little hint, the next ones will be about grizzly bears. So hit the red button and uh, we'll see you next time.